Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. Today, we are looking at the rotary airlock valve's purpose, working principle, components, and common problems with rotary airlock valves. We will discuss this in the detailed description given below. The first topic is the rotary airlock valve. Next, the second topic is the rotary airlock valve working principle. Next, the third topic is the function of the rotary airlock valve. Next, the fourth topic is the components of the rotary airlock valve. Next, we learn about the rotary airlock valve for the baghouse and ESP equipment. The first point is that rotary airlock valves are also called rotary feeders, rotary valves, or rotary airlocks. The second point is that the RAV's primary function is to lock the air and thus charge the dust of fine, coarse powder. The third point is that in a baghouse, ESP system, there is negative pressure inside the baghouse. Therefore, if air or gas leaks at the dust outlet point, the dust will not fall down. We offer rotary valves to limit leakage. The fourth point is that the rotor of a rotary valve is a spinning component that controls bulk material flow from upstream to downstream devices. A drive motor linked to the valve rotor powers its rotation. The fifth point is a rotary airlock valve, RAV, locks or prevents the movement of air or gas from one system to the other while maintaining the flow of material through it. In general, a rotary airlock is used to discharge bulk solid materials like coarse fine powder and cake in the chemical process industry, granules in the cement industry. Next, we learn about the working principle of the rotary airlock valve for the baghouse and ESP equipment. The first point is that the vanes, or blades, of a rotary airlock valve rotate during operation. The material being handled enters the pockets through the inlet port before rotating around inside the valve and then exiting through the outlet port. The second point is that in an airlock valve, the air is sealed, locked, between the inlet and outlet ports. This allows the materials to travel downward through the valve from the inlet to the outlet port while restricting the airflow. Material discharges from the rotor with the help of gravity. The third point is that the material is moved continuously in the presence of a constant air pressure between the ports. This pressure or vacuum difference must be maintained within the valve for proper function. The fourth point is that the airlock is achieved by maintaining a tight clearance between the blades and housing. The rotary airlock valve locks the movement of air between the inlet and exit ports while transferring material through them. Hence, RAV acts as a separator between a high-pressure system and a low-pressure system. The fifth point is that the maximum speed limit needs to be less than 35 revolutions per minute. Next, we learn about the function of the rotary airlock valve for the baghouse, ESP, and other equipment. Why it is called rotary airlock valve? Rotary. Due to the presence of the rotor. Airlock. Air movement is locked by the RAV. Valve. It regulates or controls the flow of material through it. The rotary airlock valve has several functionalities, including. The first function is used to control the product flow rate to the required value, fixed or variable. The second function is used to maintain a gas pressure differential between the inlet and outlet. The third function is as an explosion barrier. The fourth function is a flame barrier. The fifth function is a process isolator or barrier.
Next, we learn about the components of the rotary airlock valve. The first component is the housing or stator. The second component is the rotor. The third component is the end plates. The fourth component is bearing. The fifth components are seal or gland packing. The sixth component is the motor and gearbox. Next, we learn about the components of the rotary airlock valve. The first component is the housing or casing. Throughout the material handling process, the bulk material passing through a rotary valve housing is contained to ensure its safety. A range of materials, such as cast iron, stainless steel, and hard ox, are used to make proper housings. Please refer to the pictures of the rotary airlock valve housing and casing for better understanding. Next, we learn about the components of the rotary airlock valve. The second component is the rotor. The first point is that a rotor is sometimes called a rotor assembly because it consists of a shaft and blades or vanes that are cast or welded together. It is the part of the valve that spins. The second point depending on the rotor, can be 6, 8 or more rotor vanes. The third point the area between the vanes is called the rotor pocket. The fourth point is the number of rotor pockets reduces the pocket capacity increases, valve. The fifth point is two types of veins, open veins and closed veins. Please refer to the pictures of the rotary airlock valve rotor for better understanding. Next. We learn about the components of the rotary airlock valve. The third components are the end plates. End plates are precisely designed and manufactured to properly fit both ends of a valve housing, thereby acting as side covers of a housing. End plates contain and prevent dry bulk solid leakage in the longitudinal direction of a rotary valve. Please refer to the pictures of the rotary airlock valve end plates for better understanding. Next. We learn about the components of the rotary airlock valve. The fourth component is the bearing. Bearings support the rotating shafts of the rotors. The bearing allows them to rotate more smoothly. Please refer to the pictures of the rotary airlock valve bearing for better understanding. Next, we learn about the components of the rotary airlock valve. The fifth component is the seal, gland packing. Shaft seals sit inside the stuffing box of rotary housing. The main function is to prevent material from moving from the rotor pockets and out towards the outboard bearings. They also prevent contaminants from entering into rotor housing. The few gland or packing types are mentioned below. 1. Packing gland. 2. Mechanical seals. 3. Teflon shaft seal. Please refer to the pictures of the rotary airlock valve seal or gland packing for better understanding. Next, we learn about the components of the rotary airlock valve. The sixth component is the motor and gearbox. The first point is the rotary airlock valve's driving system consists of the motor and the gearbox together. A reduction gearbox powered by an electronically induced motor drives most of the rotary valves. The second point is the reduction gearbox is used to receive a specified motor speed and create a low output speed. The third point is the gearbox known as a gear reducer or speed reducer. It is a set of gears that can be added to a motor to drastically decrease speed or increase torque. Please refer to the pictures of the rotary airlock valve motor with gearbox arrangement for better understanding.
I hope everyone learns about the rotary airlock valve. The working principle of the rotary airlock valve, the components of the rotary airlock valve, and common problems in rotary airlock valve. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more videos.